Uh, hi friends, uh, in the last video, I was already explained the register organization of 8051 microcontroller. In that, I was completely given the what are the various 8 bit registers as well as 16 bit registers, right? So, now in this particular video, let us see addressing modes of 8051 microcontroller. Okay. See here, what are the various addressing modes of 8051 microcontroller? Uh, see the topic addressing modes of 8051 microcontroller. I will take high later. Okay. Now, why we go for addressing modes? So, the what is addressing mode? We know what is addressing mode. Addressing mode indicates how many ways a microcontroller can access the data is referred as addressing mode. Means the number of ways a microprocessor can access the data is referred as addressing modes. Let us see here we have many types of addressing modes are there like immediate addressing mode register addressing mode direct addressing mode register indirect addressing mode register specific addressing mode and index addressing mode like that we have six different types of addressing modes are there so what is the need of addressing mode uh, so the addressing modes and instruction sets of 8051 are very very essential for writing any program in 8051 microcontroller so first we should know various addressing modes and later uh, instruction set of 8051 then we, we are eligible to write any assembly language programming of 8051 so for that uh, let us see briefly what is addressing mode and what are the various uh, uh, examples related to each addressing mode so for all the addressing modes uh, there is a mnemonic syntax should be mnemonic destination operand comma source operand so for every addressing mode we have mnemonic destination operand comma source operand let us see first one immediate addressing mode what is immediate addressing mode we'll see here so in immediate addressing mode so the immediately the 8051 microcontroller can access the data immediately with the help of register here the source operand must be an 8 bit data whereas destination operand must be register so uh, in immediate addressing mode uh, here the destination operand must be register whereas source operand must be 8 bit data so in order to select uh, uh, data we should write we should indicate like a one hash symbol accordingly we are accepting so so in all those addressing modes mnemonic should be move only see in all addressing modes the mnemonic should be move only mov only okay now let us see first here what is the example and how we can analyze we'll see briefly so move a comma hash 30h so here uh, because of hash symbol it indicates that uh, it is a data if hash is not there it's not a data at that time it's act like an address so in, in immediate addressing mode immediately we are transmitting an 8-bit data to destination operand here destination operand is register if we execute this instruction what happens the accumulator register receiving 30h data immediately so here uh, uh, it indicates that when it, when it can say that it's a data here with the help of hash symbol with the help of hash symbol hash symbol gives you it is a data so like that we can understand immediate addressing mode so in this particular addressing mode what happens so source operand must be 8 bit data indicated with hash symbol and destination operand must be any of the 8 bit register or sometimes 16 bit register also for example if my data is a 16 bit data for example move uh, dptr is a 16 bit register comma hash 3000h in that case what happens dptr is a 16 bit register and this register receiving 16 bit data nothing but 3000h data is now loaded into dptr register like that uh, uh, data should be either 8 bit or 16 bit so in that case we use which addressing mode immediate addressing mode so in immediate addressing mode immediately 8 bit or 16 bit data is loaded into 8 bit or 16 bit register okay so destination operand must be register and source operand must be data so coming to other type register addressing mode name itself register addressing mode. so in register addressing mode the source operand and destination operand both are registers okay, the source operand and destination operand both are registers and data is transferred from source operand to destination operand okay that's a brief idea about register addressing mode. let us say example if i'm writing like this more a comma b so in that case what happens the data that is present in b register is loaded into a register see here the source operand and destination operand both are registered. See other example move uh, DPL comma A. In that case DPL is a data pointer lower byte register. It is an 8 bit register and A is another register. A is sending its data to DPL register. Similarly move 
A comma R not. R not is another general purpose register comes under internal RAM area. So R not also sending its 8 bit data to A register. So in all these examples, the source operand and destination operand both are registers. Then at, then all these uh, things comes under register addressing mode. So the other one is direct addressing mode. Name itself direct addressing mode. So in this addressing mode, what happens? Either source operand or destination operand, one must be address. Okay, one must be address and other must be register. So here direct addressing mode means in this addressing mode, uh, the uh, register can access the data directly from memory or a register can send data directly to memory. Then that comes under direct addressing mode. See the example, move, uh, move. So for example, a comma 30 H. Here I am not mentioning any hash. So then this 30 is now not a data. It is now act like an address. So because of this instruction, what happens? My A register receiving an 8 bit data from the memory location 30 H. Generally, 30 H is the RAM area. Okay, my A register receiving data from the RAM area, uh, 30 H uh, memory location. From that location, A receiving an 8 bit data. So we can write like this also. More something like 70 H comma B. So in that case, what happens? My B is sending its 8 bit data to 70 H memory location. Okay, so like that uh, in, in this example, the source operand is memory, whereas destination operand is register. Whereas here, the, the source operand is register, destination operand is memory. So one must be memory and other must be register in direct addressing mode. Okay, and because we are not transmitting data between two memories. One must be memory and other must be register or both are registers, but not two memories, right? Then other is register indirect addressing mode. Let us see what is register indirect addressing mode. So in, in this addressing mode, uh, the register can access the data from the memory location indirectly. So in register indirect addressing mode, what happens in, in register indirect addressing mode, the destination operand receiving data from the address indirectly with the help of register or, uh, uh, or the source operand sending it's data to the destination operand and use destination operand must be indirect. It means one must be used indirect register, other must be normal register. Okay, then here, how can you say that is it indirect? That indirect is decided with the help of one symbol called as at the rate. Because of this at the rate symbol, we can say that that register at the rate is used before the register, then that register is used like an indirect register. For example, let us say processor wants to read data from 30H memory location indirect. What is the main? For example, uh, A register, A register is an 8-bit register receiving data from 30H memory location indirectly. Then how to write? See here, more. First, 30H location is loaded to one register. See here, more R0 comma as 30H. Then R0 is equal to how much? Because as is indicated like a data. So R0 is equal to 30H. Then later I am writing like this here. Move A comma at the rate R0. So what is the meaning? Because of at the rate, this register is act like an indirect register. So the, here in, with this instruction, what happens? A register receiving an 8-bit data from the memory location 30H. So A receiving an 8-bit data from the memory location 30H. For example, in 30H memory location, for example, 5 data is available, 0, 5H data is available. Then A receiving data 0, 5H from the memory location 30H through indirect register. Okay, now with the help of this R0 is act like a one indirect register because I am indicating like at the rate. So then it is indirect register. Then A receiving data from the memory location 30H. Okay, the data not 30H is not loaded into A. The data that is present in 30H memory location is now moved to A register. So in that case, what happens indirect register here we are using in the source operand set. We can write reverse also. For example, we can write like this more at the rate R0 comma A. In this example, what happens? A already having an 8-bit data. The data is now moved to 30H memory location. Okay, and we are using 30H memory location indirectly through the register R0. So in register indirect addressing mode, important point is one register must be used indirectly with the symbol at the rate. That should be either in the source operand side or destination operand side. Then other is the register specific addressing mode. This is important. So register specific addressing mode means in this addressing mode, uh, uh, we know it is used to perform some specific operations like uh, see here swap A. So what is the meaning? Swapping. Swapping of A means uh, if you write swap A, what happens? A all it is an 8-bit data in that lower 4-bit and higher 4-bits are there, right? 
So if you write swap, here what happens? Lower four bit and higher four bits. Both are swapped. Okay, those type of instructions are those type of uh, instructions comes under register specific address only. Similarly, we can write like a swap DPTR also. So in that case, what happens? DPTR is a 16 bit uh, register. DPL is 8 bit. DPH is higher 8 bit. Uh, DPL is lower 8 bit and DPH is higher 8 bit. If you write swap DPTR, what happens? Lower 8 bit and higher four, uh, higher 8 bit uh, values are swapped. Like that, uh, register specific addressing mode uh, performing some specific operations like swapping. Complementing, okay, all comes under uh, specific addressing mode uh, applications. So swap A means swap swapping. A means the content of A is swapped. It means lower four bit and higher four bits values are swapped. Whereas here in DPTR, uh, the high, lower eight bit data and higher eight bit data both are swapped. Okay, those uh, similarly complement uh, A complement DPTR. In that case, what happens? Complement if right, ones become zeros, zeros becomes ones. Okay, all those operations comes under register specific addressing mode. Specific operation only it will perform. Other important one is index addressing mode. Index addressing mode means this addressing mode is mainly used to access data from internal ROM memory. Used for accessing data from internal ROM memory. Used for accessing data from which memory? Internal ROM. Remember, internal ROM memory. The other name of ROM memory is also called it as a program memory or code memory. So from internal room, you know what the size of internal room? Four kilobytes. So the four kilobytes internal room having uh, data, right? Uh, data value, data. Those data values are accessed if in the index addressing mode. So the index addressing mode is preferably used for accessing data from the internal room memory. So for that we use one special instructions like move C, A comma A at the rate. Uh, sorry, A plus move C A move C A comma at the rate a plus dptr i will explain briefly what is that similarly move c a comma at the rate a plus pc okay these two are the instructions that are used in uh, index addressing mode for accessing data from the internal row so uh, for accessing data from the internal row we use only only which register is ready to access data only accumulated register can access data from internal row with the help of dptr and pc for example, uh, accumulator wants to read data from the internal room location 300H. So where we need to read data 300H. First check 300H comes under internal room area only. But what is the range of internal room? 3 zeros to 3 of. So 300 comes under in that range. So it is internal room area. So how it will uh, locate further first initially A is load with 00. Initially A is load with 00. Then 00 is added to DPTR. DPTR, for example, 300 I am loading. So let us see how to write. Move initially A comma as 00 H. Then move DPTR comma as 300 H. 300 H. Then if you write this instruction, move C A at the rate DPTR, what happens? What happens if you write this instruction? here if you read this instruction what happens so in this instruction what happens a takes data from the address that address should be sum of a plus dptr a is our the value 0 0 but the dptr 300 so total 300 plus 0 0 is 300 so if you write uh, at the rate it is act like a but indirect indirectly uh, indirectly this a register receiving data from the memory location 300 h okay like that uh, register specific uh, is index addressing mode. register uh, especially index addressing mode is mainly used for accessing data from which memory internal room memory with the help of two different uh, types of instructions only here uh, why we are writing uh, instead of move move c c indicates it's a code memory but the other name of c it's a code memory so code memory nothing but room memory for accessing internal room memory so we use move c instruction move c a at the rate a plus dptr or move c a at the rate a plus pc because of this instruction, A takes data from the address. That address should be sum of DPTR and A. In that address, A takes data. A takes data indirectly. Because of this indirect symbol, it's indirectly. A takes data. Similarly, moves A at the rate A plus PC means the address PC having a 12-bit address. That address is now added to A and we get new address. From that address, A takes data indirectly. Like that, the index addressing mode is preferably used for accessing data from internal room memory only. Okay, so 
like that we can analyze uh, addressing modes of 8051 so first is immediate addressing mode with the help of hash symbol we can say that it's a immediately data it may be either 8 bit or 16 bit in that source operand must be 8 bit or 16 bit uh, data destination operand must be 8 bit or 16 bit register this addressing mode means here source operand and destination operand both are registers direct addressing mode means here uh, source operand must be memory destination operand must be register or source operand must be the register destination operand must be memory one must be register another must be memory if it is memory we are not writing any hash then it is act like a memory this indirect addressing mode means in this addressing mode uh, uh, 8051 uh, register access the data from the memory location through register and that register is used indirectly with the symbol at the right so in this example processor wants to read data from 30h memory location in which way it is reading indirectly move a at the rate r that r that already equal to 30 and here i am using r not like a indirect register then my a takes data from the 30 memory location 30 memory location a takes data so here in this case source operand is uh, indirect register whereas destination operand is register here destination operand is indirect register here we are taking data from the memory location indirectly here we are sending data to the memory location and we are selecting memory location indirectly through register register specific means it will perform some specific operations like complement swapping like that okay, then index addressing mode means this is mainly used for accessing data from the internal row with the help of two different types of instruction either moose a with a plus dpd or moose a with a plus pc okay so here uh, the size of uh, internal row is 4 kilobytes nothing but four, three zeros to 3f in that range of addresses only uh, we can access with the help of uh, moose a by the, by the first type or second type okay this is about addressing modes of 8051 right uh, i hope you understand the addressing modes of 8051 so in the coming video we will explain the instruction set of 8051 so based on both the uh, knowledge then you are eligible to write the assembly language programming of 8051 microcontroller easily right so thank you for watching this video if you really like please kindly share my video to your friends and subscribe my channel thank you